Woodruff from the American uh, Red Cross. February is National Heart Month, so we thought it'd be very important to teach you how to have some CPR skills because mm -hmm. a lot of people don't realize that um, there's a difference between immediate responders and first responders, right? Correct. I think the first thing people think of when when an emergency happens is to dial 911 right away, first mm -hmm. off, and to kind of wait till the professionals get there. But as mm -hmm. you'd said in the break, the first two to three minutes are the most critical yeah. in that emergency. For every minute that drops, the odds drop of survival. So yeah, this this is when you say immediate responders, we're talking bystanders. Bystanders, yeah. You know, basically, we want to train as many people as possible. So. If something happens, they've got that basic hands-only skill to at least give that person a fighting chance. And, and can we differentiate, what's the difference between, you're teaching us hands-only CPR, right? When I yeah. was taught CPR, I was taught the combination of the respiratory breath, the kind of the rescue breath C version of CPR. What's yeah. the difference between the two? Well, uh, hands-only by <laughs> inference is, is going to explain that, but and we, we still teach both. Okay. Uh, it's a lot more extensive uh, to learn the full CPR, okay. which does include what you, you know, the rescue the breath. The rescue breath. The difference is that this would be hands and just hands only. Okay. And so you would forego the rescue breaths, but you would really, uh, you know, get get the basics down so you can get that heart going. Just really focus on pumping the heart, getting the oxygen flowing back in the yeah. veins and getting all of that going again. Yeah. Plus, I think the benefit as well is it's kind of, uh, it's, in the moment, it's kind of hard to remember all of these steps, right? To, yeah. okay, now I need yeah. to tilt the head back, I need to then do three breaths, and then I need to pump the heart. With this, it's more of just get right down to, to business, kind of just get right down yeah. and pump in the heart. Yeah, same approach, same rhythm, uh, and the thing is, too, if you have it up, the opportunity to uh, secure an AED, okay. that would be part of the equation okay. that you would learn in a full CPR, but this is just the real basics. Perfect. Well, you yeah. brought in a mannequin today to kind of show us how to do the hands-only CPR, and typically you would be positioned um, more towards the ground and be over, but for demonstration purposes, we have it here on the, on the, uh, the desk, the table right now. Yeah, the first the first thing you want to do is check the person. You know, you can it's pretty obvious. You can see if they're breathing. You want to shake them. Are you okay? Are you okay? And and before you even do that, make sure the scene is safe. You know, if it's a car accident, or whatever, you want to clear the scene and really take control of the situation. Okay. And then you want to identify somebody to call 911. Okay. Typically, people will be kind of stunned and they may or may not call. So you want to be aggressive, bold, maybe single someone out. You call 911. And then while that's going on, then you immediately jump to the CPR. The first thing you want to do is, is thread your fingers together, and you're going to use the pressure of the palm. You don't want to rest the fingers on the person, but you want to basically put the focus and the weight you know, on the palm. Center chest, kind of in line with the nipple here, basically, uh, not over the heart itself, but right, right around in the center. And like you said, you're actually going to be... Uh, Typically be over, over the person, kind of more straight-armed, right? Yeah, yeah. Your, your arms and your hands are going to be, you know perpendicular, okay. I guess. And then when you put those uh, that pressure down, you're not going to use your wrist, you're going to use your full body and just rock back and forth. And it's it can be very exhausting. Absolutely. So when you're actually doing it, uh, you want to think in terms of the rhythm. We, we always teach that a, a good mental way to uh, remember is, if, if you remember the old song, the Bee Gees, Stay alive. alive, right? That's the and, one that know, I was taught. Stay alive. Yeah, exactly. And uh, you know, if you're a younger viewer and you haven't heard that song, you can Google it. But it's going to give you that rhythm, you know, that Stay alive. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to do a... Yeah, it's an easy way to remember. And they're even saying now that that may be even a little quicker than that. But the idea is get that rhythm going, get it consistent, and uh, it, you're going to go a couple inches deep. Yeah, it's you definitely. Yeah. I remember on the mannequins that I was taught with, you're, you're supposed to engage until you hear the click, which is supposed yeah. to almost be like the click of the sternum, correct? That is absolutely correct. Uh, and you may you may break some cartilage, break you may crack ribs. ribs, but uh, in importantly, the, you're saving this person's life. That's the most important. The ribs heal. Yeah. This person is is you're rescuing them is the important part. And I think you made a really great distinction when you were talking earlier that it's very important to, and it can be hard for some people, but someone needs to take that leadership role right yeah. away and kind of yeah. say. Because you said a lot of people are stunned, what's going on, we'll just wait till they get here. But someone needs to say, okay, you clear traffic, you call the police, and I'm going to mm -hmm. handle this right here. And yeah, that's very important. And if there's an AED available, uh, maybe it's a school, something, you know, most have them now, you, you dispatch somebody to go Secure get Secure that. that as well. And then in the full training, you'll learn how to use that. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, the difference here would be the rescue breaths, you're, you know, every 30 compressions, Tilting you would the tilt back. the head back, make sure the airway's clear, and you would give two quick one-second <clears throat> breaths, that, and you want to see the chest rise. So 30 
two rescue breaths, 30, 30 at two. least, you know, five cycles uh, as you're doing the AED, it's going to kind of walk you through it. So that's, that's the real basics, and it's just getting that muscle memory, getting the basics down. So when the time comes, you're ready you're psychologically. You're ready to go. Yeah. Uh, you got to tell yourself, I am going to do this. You're mm -hmm. not going to panic yourself. You come in, you take control, and it just really raises the odds of that person surviving. And, and I think in terms of actually pressing, you'd made a good point that it can be absolutely exhausting. You could be doing this for minutes. Minutes, um, yeah. until the until first responders arrive until paramedics arrive so it is important to remember to keep your arms straight and use your body weight you rather than your arms pushing because you'll tire out in a matter of 30 seconds and then you're no help anymore if, if you can't if you can't fully do this mm -hmm. properly so mm -hmm. it is important to remember to keep your arms straight and as rich said palm interlocked and use the muscle of your palm is the most important yeah part. That, that's the pressure point there and like I said, you use your body weight. You're going to kind of rock up and down yeah. and get the rhythm, get it going, be aggressive, uh, and continue to check if the patient comes around. Uh, that's a very good thing. You just kind of wait for you know the paramedics to arrive and. And hopefully you've uh, done your, your part to make that person uh, survive that incident. Excellent. And Rich, you guys provide, through the Red Cross, I'm sure you guys provide certification and training in this as well. Where can people kind of get a hold of those classes and, and get in for some more extensive training in CPR? Yeah, you can go to redcross.org. Mm -hmm. slash take a class it's pretty easy to navigate okay and that'll take you you can kind of drill down to your uh, local zip code you can plug it in it'll give you a class schedule uh, CPR hands-only CPR we just started really doing this aggressively there is no charge for that okay full CPR is going to be a pretty extensive course uh, several hours and you will also learn, learn basic first aid so uh, more extensive first response yeah. in terms of wound healing wounds if there's open lacerations yeah. rather than just trying to revive someone yeah and that's extremely important Absolutely. especially bleeding you, unfortunately you look at these tragic shootings and the people that are right there that are that have that first aid training as well uh, they can also save a life Absolutely. And as you said, the first two to three minutes are the most critical in saving a life. If you are uh, hesitant to get there or, or hesitate even by a minute or two, you said the chances drop dramatically. So that's very important. Yeah. yeah I, don't, I, I don't remember the exact statistics, but every minute that passes, I believe the, the percentage drops at least 10 percent. So that clock is ticking and those odds are being reduced. So if you can get right, right on it, it's going to. Perfect. Yeah. It's well, thank you so much, Rich, for joining thank us you. today and in sharing this very important information. It's, it's absolutely necessary to know at least just this basic way of reviving someone in case of emergency. And we have a first aid app as well. You can download Oh, excellent. That's great. A lot of info on that, you know, but get a class, make make yourself confident and go for it. Everyone should at least know the hands-only section of CPR. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Well, as Rich said, the first two to three minutes are the most critical. So head over to redcross.org. Check out some of their classes so you can get in for a hands-only CPR class, maybe some more extensive training as well. We'll be right back with much more on the Mountain Morning Show right after this break. Don't go anywhere.